West Coast destruction has washed ashore in San Diego as the Diamondbacks move down the road from Los Angeles. Set to take on the Padres on D-Max TV. Uh, you really have to wait him out. 2-2. Two -two. Corbin sends it to right center and it drops in front of Merrill and gets behind him. Corbin's going to get an extra 90 feet. The rookie center fielder just named National League Rookie of the Month for June. Miss And Peterson gets it in the air, deep to center. There it goes, and it's gone. Jock Peterson, a first inning home run for the second consecutive game, and the Diamondback home run parade is pulled into San Diego. What an at-bat that was. He saw all kinds of pitches. You said that Vasquez throws a bunch of different ones. He seems like he's seen them all, and then he just jumped. Location. Boom, right there in his happy zone. He knew it as soon as he hit it. An eight pitch at bat. Peterson worked the count and hit it over the head of Merrill. And now Christian Walker steps in. Remember, they hit. Walker slams it right at Merrill in center. And that's out number two. Not a loud contact to straightaway center. That's three consecutive batters. Actually, after one. Last night they put two on the board in the first again tonight and we're going to keep going as Lurtis shoots it down the left field line. Profar has it in the corner gets it back in quickly and Guriel is in safe at first or with a head first slide. Hunter was a line shot to center. Oh, Gabby went fishing down there on the low sinker they strand Guriel but Jock Peterson homers for the second consecutive first inning. His 13th of the year has given Slade Ciccone the early lead. Do you get mad? I mean, be honest. Open book. The liner to right. Carroll's not going to get there. Back off the wall, man. He's headed for two. Throw headed there, but he'll get to second base. Standing with a double. The summer heats up, Michael. Do you feel that you're at your best when it's hot? I hate the heat. Really? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, one of them's two down for me. The other one's three down for me. Too short. That's a baseball out right there. First, but nicely done. Move him over. Get him in. Padres on the board. Merrill will pick it. Uh, yes, Texas is special. Mm. This is line to center, and that's going to get in for a base hit. Sinking liner and a base hit for Agashioka. Softly lined and caught, trying to turn it into two, but it'll be late. As Agashioka alertly dives back to the bag at first. You don't get that stuff everywhere. Yeah, yeah. the do drop in. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fly ball left field as Guriel moves over and makes a catch. That'll end the inning. We're through three in San Diego, Arizona, on top 2 1. Runs as a member of the Diamondbacks tied for sixth. The club all time. There's a fly ball to left center that has Jackson Merrill over into left center. Two down. One, two, three innings in the second and third. 3 0 though. And Walker swings at the 3 0, grounds it to third. Manny Machado on the run. And in time. First out of the inning. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out on that curveball. Third strikeout for Randy Vasquez, two down. Walker batter here tonight. Right? Until now. And those weren't even close. Yeah, that sure looked like a pitch around. Yeah, all the time it always comes up. 21st pitch in this inning, and Suarez splits the gap between Machado and Kim. And look at the aggressive base running. Gabby's in at third. Good Terrific play. at bat there by Gino. Off the end of the background, it's softly to Machado at third. His throw in plenty of time. Out of the jam is Vasquez. Diamondbacks leave a pair. It's 2-1 Arizona. On that start against the Dodgers last night. And Gino, tough play. Might not have one, and he's just going to have to eat it. 
He was shaded over toward the shortstop spot, and Cronenworth had acres as his 11th of the year. Bounced up the middle and throw into center. And Manny found a little gap in there, and it bounced over the bag, and a couple of little infield hits have opened. Fly ball, it's carrying pretty deep right center. Alec calls off Corbin. Both runners tag up close at second, but Manny hustles in there. And Cronenworth's in at third. Boy, that thing. Here in the fourth inning. Line fair. Down the right field line to the corner. Cronenworth from third, Machado from second. Merrill is headed for third. He'll get there with a triple. Padres take a 3-2 lead. That's Jackson Merrill. First pitch of the at-bat was a changeup. Swung out and missed. Didn't throw him a strike. Well, this is a hanging changeup. Just fair. Everybody's off and running. Everybody's out of their seats. Rooting, hooting, hollering. Especially that kid, number three. Oh, yeah, that's a triple. We love it. Second career triple for Merrill. To right and a base hit for Peralta from third comes Merrill. 4-2 Padres. Peralta into second with an RBI double. Padres on top by two. Swing and a miss and Kim strikes out. Second out of the inning and that is just the first strikeout of the night for Ciccone. On the ground up the middle into left center field a base hit Peralta's coming around Padres will take a 5 2 lead Kyle Higashioka on his second hit drives in a run. And the first three. On the ground up the middle diving at second Marte's throw to first is late. Arise able to beat it out. Now Shioka takes second. Strikes him out and ends the inning, but the damage has been done. The Padres score four times in the inning. Jackson Merrill able to come up with a triple. Drives in two. David Peralta with a double. Drives in a run of his own. Padres now have a 5 2 lead. Wish we could have it in our headsets. Now that would be something. Yeah. Up the middle and off the glove of Cronenworth that finds its way into center field. And Perdomo is aboard to begin the inning. And it has been an extended rough season. Here's a ground ball to short. Could be two. On the first, it is two. Ground ball right side. Diving is a rise from the knee. Vasquez gets over there for the out. Nicely done. Some good defense turned into in the inning. A rise laying it out and then from one knee gets it to Randy Vasquez. Does a nice job of getting over and they retire Cattell Marte and the Diamondbacks. 5-2 San Diego. They're learning here as understudies and they've been pressed into service with all the injuries and down the road the whole organization is going to be much better off as a result. There's a double play ball Perdomo Marte and they turn it and he leads the majors and there's two big outs for Slade Ciccone and a chance now to get through five if he can get Solano here. You, you know in and around the all star break. He'd like to buy. He anticipates that there'll be buyers. And Peralta, boy, somehow that stayed on the right side of the line. And David's got a second hit. My it's, goodness. They've had a few. 1-1. One, one. In the air to deep left field off the bat of Agashioka. Gone. Two-run home run is 10th of the year. Puts the Padres on top 7-2.
Well, the side armor tries to go in, and Higashioka turns it around. And Brother Jet is in. He could clean it out. Look at this pitch here. That's in. Inner third. Got the hands in. Send it on its way. It's a Higgy homer. Okay, he has equaled his high. Seven to two, and Arise has first uh, his second hit tonight. And the third hit in this inning for the Padres. Gabby can't find it. Arise takes off, and they got him. Oh, yeah, they did. Gabby recovered quickly, and Arise is out at second. Cronenworth, Uriel. Almost lost it in the lights. Had to fight that bank of lights. Padres get two more. They take a 7-2 lead. That, that one hurt, literally and figuratively, because he was throwing the ball really well. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Suarez. Six strikeouts for Vasquez, and that's going to do it now. Way to go. Especially against this team. The faithful let him know what they think of him as he comes off. Padres on top as Wandy Peralta takes over. And Alec Thomas jumping on the first pitch, drives it out to center, but Jackson Merrill's in center. Two down. Austin getting hit in the forearm. Swing and a miss, and Wandy Peralta strikes out Perdomo. A one, two, three, seven, seventh inning stretch, seven, two, San Diego. Takes it the other way in the right field for a base hit. Singles to start the bottom of the seventh inning. So they've had to piece some things together like nearly every team in the league. Walker for one. And boy, a tremendous job right there by Manny to dive back safely into first as Kritu on the rookie center fielder. He sends one right to Alec, who's got it. And Manny's back again. Another ball hit right on the nose by Merrill. He couldn't believe how much weight he had dropped. There's a little tapper that gets by him. Patel has to hurry, and Johnson's retired. And sends this to the eighth inning, trailing 7-2. Last five games with five homers. Sends one out to Pro Far and left. And they have contained Christian Walker row for four. Big by. Lertis bounces one into center right up the middle. One out single. His second hit tonight. Yeah, pretty nice night. Two knocks, a single and a double. For sure. Gabby Lane is open. He shoots it by a rise. And the Diamondbacks have something cooking here. And Jake McCarthy coming up. He two on the way. And Jake works a walk. They're loaded now for Alec Thomas. Mike Schilt has his closer. Keep the line moving here. Mm -hmm. Alec first pitch swinging. Drives it deep to right center. Alec Thomas has hit a grand slam in Slam Diego. One pitch and it's gone. And suddenly out of nowhere, it's a one-run ball game. That pitch was 98 miles an hour and it flew out of here at 108 miles an hour. Look at A.T. loving this. They started with a Jock Peterson two-run homer in the first and they get an Alec Thomas grand slam on a meatball in the ninth. And he tattooed it out to right center. There was never a... All right, has it at first. Two outs. What an at-bat, though. That was a big battle. Sure was. Corbin Carroll has a base hit. That one splits the gap. Merrill over to pick it up. Corbin into second, and he's in there. And the Diamondbacks have the tying run in scoring position for Cattell Marte. Boy. Richard. 
They're down to their final strike. Grichik down the line. Randall Grichik. It's gone. It's gone. And the Diamondbacks have taken a lead in San Diego with an improbable ninth inning. Wow. Randall oh. Grichik, be a hero, buddy. This home run parade <laughs> continues for the Diamondbacks. Randall Grichik down to his final strike. A go-ahead pinch hit two-run homer after Alec Thomas hit a grand slam. Bringing the heat, throws him a changeup. That changeup leaks middle in, speeds up his bat. Wow. Wow. We'll clearly get the answer to that from Troy Lavello afterwards. Steve. There's another one. Newman shoots it by a rise. They have matched the Padres in the hit column. They only missed it by a couple of days. And Walker strikes out. Two outs in the tenth. It started with Alec Thomas's grand slam and Randall Gritchick a pinch hit home run third deck up there. An amazing ninth inning they've taken an 8 7 lead. High fly ball to right field Carroll going back onto the warning track at the wall it is gone. Brofar ties the game. As I mentioned, Seawall does not throw that hard. He wanted that one up in the zone to expand. It was right down the middle in the all-star. 3-2 pitch. Ball four. Potential winning run is aboard. On a walk. Hanging slider. I'll tell you what, for Padre fans, this is one of the best roller coaster rides tonight you will ever ride. Largest crowd ever at Petco Park in their history. Just saw an amazing game and an amazing walk off from Manny Machado. Forty seven thousand one hundred and seventy one got to watch this.